What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another super secret ninja class tutorial. Today we're going to hide a hidden text message inside of an audio file. You're going to need Photoshop for this or something similar that allows you to open up .raw files. So what I have here is a wave effects clip that comes with any sort of sample pack and this is what it sounds like. This is really ideal for hiding text inside of uh, the sound because when you do add text, you manipulate the file and when it plays back, it gets a kind of a glitchy, staticky sound. So this is really good for masking the hidden message. First thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and make a copy of this if you haven't already because it is probably gonna ruin the sound or at least uh, change the quality. So I'm just gonna, this is a copy and I'm gonna rename the extension to .raw and it's going to say you know you might want to not do this <laughs> you say i want to do it anyway and then you're going to go ahead and open it up in photoshop and sometimes it will have the dimensions already for you if you're really lucky it does sometimes if you hit guess it will guess for you but as you can see it doesn't so you have to try to guess yourself you want to get as close as you can to the largest file size without going over so I'm gonna start off with a thousand by a thousand. I already know this is gonna to be too big and I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna say it's smaller actually. So we're gonna go a little bit bigger and say cancel and let's go to 12. Still smaller. So this is as close as I can get it or I'm gonna get it. It doesn't really matter because I'm using a glitchy sound effect and I'm gonna just be glitching it out more. So the quality or the precision right here doesn't really matter and it's gonna work still the same anyway. So I got it to 2510 by 2510. It's probably gonna take you a few guesses. It took me a bunch of guesses to get it that close. But I said specified image is smaller than the file size. Open anyway and I say okay. Here we go. And if I zoom in now, I wanna to get to 100%. And because I'm in that 100% and when I add my text, it's only gonna be affecting a little bit of the sound itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type my secret message and that's great and if you put it in here over here in the top left it's going to be at the beginning of the sound and the bottom right will be at the end of the sound just like a book i'm just going to leave it right here it doesn't really matter i'm going to go to save as i'm going to save as a raw file right photoshop raw save i want to replace it yes hit okay so the first thing to do that we need to change it back to the wave Make sure to remember if it was an MP3 to change it back to MP3. If it's a wave, to change it back to wave. Hit again, yes, and go ahead and play it. Now you heard that high pitched zzz, that's the hidden message, okay? So if I come back, close out of here now. And if I send this to my friend who knows the code and knows how to look at hidden messages, that he knows to come in and change it to raw, hit OK, and then go in and open it inside of Photoshop. And he'll have to guess, but I'll probably put this 2510 by 2510 in the hidden in the message or in the file name or something like that. Hit OK. And as you can see, if he zooms into 100 percent he will be able to see and read my secret message. Anyway, that's how you do it. I hope uh, I hope that helped and see you next time. Peace.